Hey guys, welcome back to 59 Gaming. It's the Masked Ningen here, and we have some breaking news from the data download that occurred on JP. Uh, some special missions have been revealed for the new GT Legendary Goku event, similar to the previous LGE missions. You are going to be required to beat the stage with specific category teams to complete these missions. So I brought some guys on to talk about it, and we're going to jump into the discussion now. We have Nolar. Saito and Waffles here. Say hello, boys. What's going yeah. on, everyone? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we can see the tweet up here on the screen. Uh, shout out to our boy Truth. Because uh, the, the he posted a screenshot, but it looks like one of those typical Google Translate kind of deals where it doesn't quite make sense. So he's thankfully posted the actual list here. So the categories look to be Reps of Universe 7, Battle of Wits, Power Absorption, Space Traveling Warriors, Connected Hopes, Mind and Body Erosion, or Corroded Body and Mind on Global, and Great Ape Power. So, yeah, all fairly new categories. So, looking at this list, what is your uh, initial reaction? I guess Nolar, as a uh, player who probably has all the leads, how, how do you feel about this <laughs> list? Uh, well, spe specifically for JP, uh, this looks pretty fun, because uh, Reps of Universe 7, because of the six-year anniversary, uh, yeah, that's gonna be a lot of fun with the two new LRs, maybe even you know 17 and Frieza, and then the 17 U717 team. Like that'd be great. Um, Battle of Wits, that I mean, that's good for both global and JP, right? Because uh -huh. uh, we both celebrated worldwide together. Part of the same thing with power absorption, space traveling warriors. Now that's gonna be a little more rough for global uh, because Bojack hasn't returned, right? And yep. then Turles is the other. Uh, no, no, he's con um, he's conquers. So yeah, there's uh, there's no Mark other warrior other than uh, Z uh, leader other than Zangya has it as like a sub lead. So yeah, so unfortunately, <laughs> I mean, of course we'll be doing team build guides on this, but uh, uh -huh. you could probably run uh, terrifying conquers like a sub lead sub version of space traveling warriors, right? They fit in yep. both, so technically would fi uh, follow both, but. Just you looking strictly at Bojack as the lead, that'll be really good for JP because he's back once and uh, hasn't been back on Global though. Um, you guys just got PyCon and Janemba, or Kikon, I should say, sorry. Um, <laughs> so those two teams should be okay, but that depends if you guys actually summon, which is unfortunate because I think a lot of people want, aside from the discounts, most people should have skipped that, uh, yep. that dual duel confess. And then, of course, graded power. Um, Look, if you love Fusion and Gogeta, you probably should have pulled for Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. And now if RNG said, screw you, you're not getting anything, unfortunate. But uh, that one should be okay. But um, that, yeah, I don't know. Overall, for me on JP, this is going to be a lot of fun, and especially with my account. But uh, for Global, that's a whole other story. So, Saito, what do you think for Global? Man, for Global? Oh, man, look, I always say, let go and let Dokkan. Rep Reps of Universe 7. We really only got two cards to go uh, go Frieza and the Hestia Blue Cow Kid. <laughs> My man, the struggle is going to be real. <laughs> Power absorption. If you got the Boo, I think you pretty you pretty much solid for that. Space tra uh, Traveling Warriors, if you ain't got the Bojack or the M Bojack to run those two together, you're really going to struggle on that as well. Connected Hope. Mm, I'm pretty sure that's for the, the Pecan, the Pycon. If you didn't pull for that uh, either or you didn't do the step ups to try to potentially get the unit, you're going to struggle for that one too. There's just a lot of struggling. The only one I know for a fact that most people will probably be able to do would probably be Battle Wits, but for a majority of these, boy, me boy, oh. <laughs> I can do them, but I'm just talking about for the, the everyone else. If you didn't stop it, man, look. <laughs> You're gonna be waiting. Oh yeah. So waffles, what about you? How are your uh, how's your box oh, looking uh, for? Of course, uh, uh, great A power. If you didn't pull like the brand new units or have Super Saiyan Four Gogeta in, like going like a Dokkan as well. The great A power will probably be arguably to me probably one of the hardest one. One of the hardest missions to get done out of all of these. What do y'all think? Yeah, if you didn't summon for Gogeta, I don't know about all that because with all the crossover great A units that came up, I feel like you might actually have a decent chance if you use some of those on there. You also got the LRSS4s. You're gonna have the EZA SS4s. Yeah, yeah I, I mean, guess so. it would. 
It would be a lot better if you guys had the uh, same name update, right? Because then you would just run mm -hmm. just SS4s, right? Plus, if you, uh, yeah. it depends, I guess, if you pulled on the Heroes banner as well. Because if you don't have Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, the only actual sub leads other than... I guess there's the free-to-play GT Great 8 Vegeta, but the other <laughs> two sub leads for Great 8 Power are both the Super Saiyan 4s from the Heroes banner. So Yeah. It's... Uh, mm -hmm. Um, there's there's going to be ways, I guess, that you can kind of stitch together a team. So looking at the uh, Great 8 Power category, I've got that up on the screen at the moment. Obviously, the new GT, Goku, and Vegeta are in that category. So yep. uh, you can probably put together like a Goku family slash Great 8 Power team because you've got like the LR Power. physical kid Gohan from Super Battle Road is on there. He'd be under that Goku family leader skill. Um, you got like Int Kid Goku. I know he's not the best, but like, there's gonna be some ways you can get around it. So, like Nala said, we will put out some uh, guides for how you can kind of try and get some of these categories to work. But what do you think is uh, is the key sort of motivation behind this? Because obviously, it seems very much the case that if you're somebody who's missed out on some of these recent Dokon Fest exclusive category leaders you are left in that position where you are going to have to kind of just cobble together a team that is technically a different category, but that still fulfills that requirement. So what do we think? I mean, ultimately, I think with this, it's end game content. So for most mm -hmm. of the player base, having not having these units are just more motivation to keep playing. And so eventually one day they'll pull that unit and then they can actually take on those missions. So I feel like that's kind of the motivation to put this in there. Hmm. Because, yeah, all we know from we know that there's uh, new tickets like there were for the previous one. So obviously, I guess I'm guessing those are the mission rewards. So I guess one of the things that's going to be interesting to see is what is that banner going to look like? Because obviously the one from the original legendary Goku banner has, just has a bunch of like old unfeatured Gokus. And then I think it has does it have one or two LRs, but it doesn't have like, you know, the good LR Gokus like STRUI or anything like that. So those if this... are on the banner. They, uh, the general pool Goku ones are on this new banner. Yeah. So it all depends. Like, if, if it's got, like, some of the top tier LR Gokus, then obviously uh, I feel like people are going to be even more disappointed if they're not able to complete all of these missions. But what do we think? Uh, okay, I, so... Oh, Saito, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, no, you go ahead. Okay, so the thing is, everything has come back on JP... So uh -huh. talking about, uh, you know, Buhan, Vegito, again, Bojack's been back. I get, uh, right now for Golden Week, we've got both Janemba and Pecan back. And then, of course, I don't think Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta's been back yet, but he might be the next featured unit to come back on the next banner for Dokkan uh -huh. Fest exclusives. Um, this is, like, this is going to be a controversial take, but this might be the reason why you can make an argument that the Global and JP shouldn't have dual... Uh, shared celebrations because yeah you're gonna get everything together but obviously this is more meant for the jp player base because they've had those units featured and had chances to pull them or buy them with coins more more specifically because they've been back um compared to global where they've only shown up once and you didn't know this was coming so if you didn't get them the first time which realistically for the majority of the player base they'll skip some banners right uh to think about the stone economy uh this is unfortunate Right. Again, we'll get you guys to figure out a way to get around it. But if you're just going to go the easy, the path of least resistance, which is just have a lead for the team, go for it. This is just not good, a uh, good look for global at the moment. So my point here is you could make the argument that a shared global celebration, JP, this would argue against having that because this might be better for you three or four months down the line when you've had those units come back and you could buy them with coins. Right. So. Mm -hmm. I guess I would almost yeah. rebut against that by saying that just because it is permanent, like us getting it sooner just means whenever you can make a team to take it on or whenever you do pull the lead, then you'll be able to actually take it on. Like if I don't see the idea of just making us wait for it, if it's just going to always be there for you, you know what I mean? Mm. Yeah, yeah I mean, I, I, it's a good point. It is a good point. But the, the counterpoint to that is, well, it would leave a good chunk of the player base frustrated. You can't, okay, uh, you know, that's that's fair. that's the yes. downside of that. I mean, you, it's always going to be around, like you said, but that is another argument you made where, oh, well, I can't do it, so screw this. Why would you even <laughs> show me? You know, like, there's going to be people that say that. So, anyway, sorry, Negan, yeah. to cut you off. 
I think it's it reminds me of like the to be released scenario in this because yes. the way I the way I've always like argued against that because I I have never I don't think that to be released was a global shaft because it's we got the units there and then and the the other option was we just didn't get them for six months so for a lot of people you're gonna just enjoy playing the new event like trying it out with a bunch of different teams and so it's good that we get the event now and yeah some people might not be able to complete all of the missions straight away but like waffles was saying the event and the missions are going to be there forever so the next time somebody does come back on a banner and you either do manage to pull them or pick them up with coins then it's another reason for you to then jump back into that event because you can then finish off that mission so i do think a lot of people like i would i'm one of those people i i get a little bit annoyed like if there's missions on my list that i just can't complete for some reason because i am a little bit of a completionist but i do think there's a lot of players who would rather have the event to be able Able to play even if they can't beat all of the missions but Saito what were you gonna say um honestly I forgot but it, was, <laughs> it, it, was, it was it was it was it was it was about the point about before you brought up um uh how JP and global they shouldn't be doing the 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 thing all at the same time mm -hmm. but when I when I think about it sure these these missions they're, they're going to just be unbearably almost impossible for people to complete. But when I also think about it, you may be able to toss some teams together whether whether or not you don't have the lead because I'm pretty sure I'm well no I'm not pretty sure but I'm sure that they'll probably keep this, the thing. Uh, you got to bring three of these individual units from this category, right? Or do we not know that yet? It's gonna I be think, a full team for legendary yeah. The, for the legendary Goku missions, it's six units from the category, so the only yeah. one you can kind of get away. Oh, I'm with thinking. Is okay, I'm thinking of Infinite Dragon Ball history. Yeah, oh, uh, Infinite yeah, Dragon Ball. No, that. Never mind. That's Infinite Dragon Ball history. I was thinking about. Okay, never mind. Let go of Link Dokkan. <laughs> but yeah, there are. Uh, like I say, we'll go into more detail in our separate videos. But like just looking at it here with the connected hopes category, if you didn't pull PyCon. Um, there's a lot of Super Saiyans on this team, and Spirit Bomb Goku and Namek Goku are on here. So potentially, you can make a Super Saiyans team, as long as all of them are on Connected Hopes, and then that would work. Mm. So there are going to be some ways to get around it, but like we said, we will do some more detailed guides to try and help you guys out. But I, I don't think, just from first glance, I don't know if any are going to be impossible without the one main leader but some of them very well may be so there you go i guess we will have to see how it goes we'll get some guides out let us know down below what do you guys think of these set of missions are you able to beat them all do you think or are you in that boat where you are missing quite a few of these leaders and so you are going to struggle to build teams let us know what you guys think down below in the comment section so make sure to like the video subscribe to the channel follow five nine on all of our social medias big thank you to nolar saito and waffles for jumping in for this discussion and yeah let us know what you guys think and we will see you all again soon